Several months ago, I reviewed this box set for Dragonbane role-playing game from Free League Publishing. Since then, I have gotten to play this game quite a bit, and I really like it. So I've decided to do a buyer's guide because since my last video, there have been a lot of new products that have been released for Dragonbane, including these two new books, as well as one more in the works. So we're gonna be talking about all these products in this video, and I'll be giving you my buying recommendations if you're curious about getting started with Dragonbane, or if you bought the box set and you're curious about whether it's worth it to buy some of these books. So I actually wanna start this video by talking about what's free. They do have a free quick start guide for Dragonbane that you can get on DriveThruRPG or on Free League's website. I will put links to everything we're talking about down in the video description, by the way, and some of those links are affiliate links, so buying through them does help support the channel at no extra cost to you. But the quick start guide, again, is completely free in PDF form. I think you can buy a hard copy of it. At least I saw it on Amazon for somewhere around $7. If I remember correctly, it's somewhere around 40 or 50 pages. And it's pretty simple, but it does give you everything you need to start playing Dragonbane. You get just the basic rules, all the rules you will need to play the game. It does not include character creation rules, but it does include five pre-generated characters, and they are the same ones that are included here in the box set. It also includes a starter adventure called Ritter Mound, which is also one of the 11 adventures that are included in the book here in the box set. So if you're wanting to dip your toes in and try Dragonbane, that is a great way to do it with very little investment. Now let's get into the stuff you could buy. So one of the big questions that newcomers might be wondering is whether they should get the box set or whether they should get these books. I wanna specifically talk about the box set versus the rule book. And here's the thing that's kind of confusing. I really wanna emphasize that this is not a starter box. This is the full game right here. The rule book that is included in the box set is right here. It is a softback rule book, but it has all of the exact same rules that are in this hardcover rule book. In terms of rules, character options, all the GM sections, there is nothing that's left out in this soft cover version here. The only minor difference is that there is a different adventure included in this book, just a very short adventure, whereas the box set comes with a separate book that has 11 different adventures that form a campaign. While it is really nice to have a hardcover version here, for most people, I am definitely gonna recommend getting the box set because not only are you getting more adventures, you are also getting a ton of other extras. So let's talk about what all comes in the box set. Now I will put a link to my full review of the box set where you can see me break it down in more detail right up at the top there. So check that out if you're interested. But the box set does come with the rule book, the adventure book that forms the campaign called Secret of the Dragon Emperor. It does include some solo rules as well as a short solo adventure, which is really cool. This is called Alone in Deep Fall Breach. So if you wanna get started just playing by yourself and learning some of the basics, that's a great way to go. It includes this fold out beautiful color map that goes along with the campaign. It comes with cards for adventures, for improvised weapons, initiative cards, and treasure. It comes with a nice green set of polyhedral dice and it comes with character sheets. You get a bunch of blank character sheets. I think there are five of them. They're nice color ones and they are two-sided. So actually you can do 10 characters. And then it also comes with five pre-generated characters, which are again, nice color, high quality character sheets with an illustration and backstory on them as well. And last but definitely not least, you get a whole bunch of cardboard standees for characters and for monsters. They come with little plastic stands and they're nice thick cardboard. So these are really cool. Oh, and I should mention it does come with this kind of flimsy, small double-sided battle mat, which I haven't used it, but better than nothing. So I guess the question between the box set and the rule book is why would anyone want to buy the rule book over the box set? Especially since at current prices, the box set is actually cheaper than the rule book. These books cost just over $40 each when you take them from Swedish to American dollars at present. Yes, this is a Swedish role-playing game and all the prices on Free League's website for Dragonbane are in Swedish krona, I believe is their currency. But back to the debate, the rule book versus the box set. I mean, this one is hardcover and really that's one of the only things it's got going for it. If you want a hardcover version of it for more durability, something you can pass around the table, it'll last you a little longer, it might be a good way to go. Also, if you're only planning to be a player and you already have a GM who has the box set, then this is probably a good way to go too. Or as a GM myself, I already had the box set 
and I picked up a copy of the hardcover book. Now, that was mostly for review purposes, but I don't regret the purchase because I do like having a durable version that I can let the players pass around. While I have this version that you can see, I have some nice little post-it bookmarks here for reference behind my GM screen. The only other thing is there is a unique adventure in the back here called the Castle of the Robber Knight. It seems fine, but it's basically the same size as one of the 11 adventures that come in the box set. If anyone has played it, I'd be curious what you think, but I've only played some of these adventures. So if you could only buy one of these and you think you ever might want to run the game or give it to someone else to run the game for a group, then I highly recommend you get the box set and just skip the rule book. Now, in terms of creatures, the rule books do include some. I think it's something like 15 different creatures, some of the basics. You get like a troll, skeleton, dragon, things like that. You also get a small list of animals. And the reality is stat blocks in Dragonbane are pretty simple. So I think it would be very easy to homebrew your own creatures. And I'm sure a lot of people out there on the internet have done so. So go ahead and search for that if you feel like it. However, if you're gonna be running a lot of this game, I think you are gonna want the bestiary. I really like it. My only big disappointment with the bestiary, and this is kind of a nitpicky thing that's probably not gonna to apply to most people. I really love the Dragon Bane art by Johan Egerkrantz. He's done all the cover art on these products and a lot of the interior art in the core rule book. He also did the cover art on the bestiary here, which I absolutely love. But here's the thing, folks. He only did the cover. So when I got the book, I was really excited, partially just to get a book of more beautiful art by Johan, but I opened it up and none of the art in this book is by him. Now, it's fine art. I have no major gripes about it, but I was really excited to get more Johan Egerkrans art. So that was a disappointment and I felt a little bit misleading given the amount of content he's done for the other books and the cover. Other than that, you get tons of more great creatures here for Dragon Bane. No less than 63 wondrous creatures the back of the book boasts. You also get some new playable races. So that's really huge too, or I guess they call them kin. So while the rule book does include the kin human, halfling, dwarf, elf, mallard, and wolf kin, this book now includes some of the night kin, and those include orc, ogre, goblin, hobgoblin, frog people, Carcione, Cat People, Lizard People, and Satyr. So that does make the book possibly worth it for players who want to expand the playable kin in the game. But for the most part, I think this is going to be a book for GMs and it really will serve GMs well. One of the things I love about Dragonbane monsters is the monster attacks. Instead of just having maybe a claw attack and a bite attack for a given monster, you've got this list of six really interesting different attacks. You can either roll a d6 or just choose one of the attacks you feel is most appropriate. And it just makes combat feel so much more dynamic and interesting than a lot of other RPGs I've played. Also, monster attacks cannot be parried and they always automatically hit. So yeah, Dragon Bane is a lethal game. For each monster, you also get just a little write-up giving you some information about that creature and you get a random encounter idea and an adventure seed idea in case you wanna craft an entire adventure around this creature. Despite my complaint about the lack of Johan Egerkrans art, the art overall is really good. And for most of the monsters, you are gonna be getting a full page of information and a full page piece of art for that creature. You absolutely do not need the bestiary, especially if you're just planning to run the campaign that comes in the box set. However, even if you are running the campaign in the box set, I think it is nice to have some options to expand things beyond what's included in the box. So overall, I think the bestiary could be worth it for you, but practically speaking, you might just wanna start with the box set and use the creatures that are included in there. All the stat blocks that you would need for the box set adventures are included in the box set, so you definitely don't need the bestiary, but I've given you a brief look at it and you can make that call for yourself. Now there's also a set of cardboard standees for the bestiary. It comes with 64 of them. It's not gonna be every single monster in the bestiary because they avoid giving duplicates of some of the ones that are in the box set. So you're not gonna be getting things like goblins or skeletons and a bunch of the other stuff that comes in the box set. Most of these are creatures, but there are some for the playable kin as well. So that's cool. And by the way, if you're looking to flesh out your collection of 2D standee style minis, I highly recommend Geek Tank Games minis. Um, I've got a bunch of these and there's just no better value around. They're not the thick cardboard, they're a little, little bit thinner plastic, very durable. And if you use code WASD20 at checkout, you do get a nice discount from Geek Tank Games as well. I've talked about these minis quite a bit in the past and I really like them and I'll put a link to these in the video description as well. 
One other book that has not yet been released is a new adventure book called Path of Glory. This book is available for pre-order right now, and I'll put a link down in the video description. If you pre-order, you will get a PDF version sometime in the month of June 2024, and then it's slated for full physical release in fall of 2024. Now, Dragon Bane was originally released in Sweden in 1982 under the name Drakkar och Demoner. I think I got that right. I think it's translated to Dragons and Demons. Along with some rule books, there was also a trilogy of adventures that now form this single volume, Path of Glory. They've redone them, revamped them, new art and all that stuff. Uh, but they do stay true to the core of those classic Dragon Bane adventures. We don't have much information at this time, but given the pedigree of what we've gotten from Dragon Bane in the past, I have high hopes for it. So that's what I'm sure a lot of us will be looking forward to. The only other things I can think of that you might want to buy for Dragon Bane, there is a GM screen and it has a lot of useful information. Just some of the rules basics that you might want. Some of the stuff I haven't used at all and I don't see myself using very much, but a lot of it is very useful information when I remember to use it. That's the key for me is I so often forget to look at my GM screen and I'm like pouring through the books trying to find what I need. Anyway, sorry, that's, that's a personal issue. I got my GM screen with the Kickstarter. Uh, I'm not sure how much it costs, but I'll put that up on the screen here as well as a nice big cloth map, which is awesome. However, I find that the smaller paper map is actually more practical at the table uh, this just takes up so much real estate. All right, if you have any comments or questions, I would love to hear from you. Just put those down below. I always welcome your thoughts. Those of you who have a lot of experience with these products, I would love to hear your take as well. All right, thank you so much for watching, guys. Before we go, I do want to thank the WASD20 patrons as well. Patrons are people who support the channel on a monthly basis, and I am so grateful for their support. If you want to join with them and support my work, you can do so at patreon.com slash WASD20. All right, perhaps I will work on more Dragon Bane videos in the near future. It's a game I'm really enjoying. Until then, take care, everybody. You'll see me again very soon.